Hey folks, how's everybody doing today? Um, like the title says, we're just going to do a, uh, I've never done a van tour on the channel. I just wanted to show you around how I have the van set up and why I have it set up that way. I've been at it, oh, a year and a half now. You know, you can ask my wife. Uh, I'm always tinkering, fine tuning, changing something. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll be out for a while and like, oh, I need this. And then uh, figure out that uh, this thing works better than a different thing. So I just wanted to give you a quick van tour, what I have in here, why I do. Let's get to it. We're going to start on the outside. And really the only big modifications I've ever made on the outside, I added these decals so it didn't look like a construction van. And the only other thing I did was I installed shore power. And it's just a simple house outlet. It's basically a glorified extension cord that runs through the body of the van. And that's that's been awesome. That works really, really well. Uh, we can walk around to the back here. I did add a hitch step so that I can get up and down easier without having to put a stool out back. Uh, like I said, on this side, here's the decal. And that's it for the uh, outside, really, any modifications. One of the best things I ever did was I switched to these tires. They are 245s, and they're bigger. They're a size bigger than what's standard. Much better ride. You can see I only have a finger width of clearance here, but it works. These were the biggest tires that fit that I didn't have to do any modifications to the van. Greatly improved my ride quality instantly. It used to be like I was riding on rocks. It's, it's made it normal. All right, well, let's step inside and we'll uh, start up front. We are inside. It is uh, stunningly beautiful today. Um, up front, the cockpit is all very standard. Everybody's seen, if you're, if you're looking at this, you've seen a, a Ram Promaster front end. Um, I do keep, I use the uh, quad lock system for my phone. I have that mounted up here. But everything else is pretty, uh, pretty standard up front. I do uh, usually keep my camera bag right here ready to go, handy and close. I do have a swivel seat installed on the passenger side. Greatly enjoy that. It's been great. I would like to put one on the driver's side too, and that, that it will be happening in the future. It's just they're, uh, they're expensive. All right, let's move towards the back. In the back here, I get asked about this thing uh, constantly. All this is is a dog door, and I have it set up on little clips. All it does is it keeps my dogs out. I put the holes in it so that I can do the air conditioning on the floor, and they're still getting some ventilation through. Um, if it was just a solid piece of wood, then the air would get blocked and it would just keep it warmer back here. So that's why the holes, um, I usually, I just install that right here. I do have a uh, car can trash. These things are awesome. Nine bucks a piece. Love them. I have two of them. I have one hanging in the back and one in the front. Couldn't recommend them more. Those have been incredible. Up above, up here, and this is one of the things I really like about the ProMasters, this storage shelf. I keep my... Photographer clips, uh, just clamps, um, and I use those with um, with the uh, furniture blankets. To I'll I'll hang it right here to keep the sun out, keep people from looking. Temperature. Also have the uh, these are WeatherTech, and this is what I use on the inside of the windows to block all the windows out. These weren't super expensive, and they are made to fit the ProMaster, and I've been really happy with them. They work great. Up here I also have, and I don't know if you, I've shown you folks these before, but these are the window. This is by uh, Overland Screens. These are, and I think they're just like a 3D printed thing, but these go in the windows to allow airflow, but then no bugs. They have a screen in them, and they just go right in the top, right up here. Really happy with those. Those have worked incredibly well. I highly recommend them. That's about it from up here. There's a couple other odds and ends. I do keep my uh, Lagoon table mount up here. And that's about it for the above storage. For my actual layout of the van, I've, like I said, I've had this a year and a half and I have found for me, having the bed run this way works so much better for me. I had the bed across like almost every other van build out there. What I found was I can't use the, the back doors hardly at all. It, 
I, the only time I really open those up is if I needed something under the bed. Having a hallway here and being able to in and out those back doors has been greatly beneficial. I love that I have the full length of the van. If I'm moving a mattress or carrying some lumber or anything like that, I have the full width of the van. I can set a mattress up in here. I've, I've carried a, what was it, a queen box spring and mattress standing in here. Um, I just like being able to use the van for hauling stuff if I need to or anything like that. So that's, that's why the layout is like this. Just big general items. This is a ottoman with some storage and also a seat. I have my office chair here. This is my kitchen. Back here is storage. And this is what you would normally find, like they call it the garage area underneath the bed. I have found these totes work great. I label them all. I know exactly what's in each one and bam, if I need a screwdriver, boom, grab the tools, pull it out. If I need a new blanket, bam, it's right there. Also doubles as some food storage and I keep these two with food. So we'll get into that in just a second. So in this ottoman is basically footwear. I also do have the Blue Eddy and I have two of these actually. This is the EB3A really happy with these the, that's the reason i bought a second one i found i didn't need like a big power source unless i needed electricity or the generator and these were great charging phones running the lights running the tv all the simple little things that these work and i like having two of them one can kind of be charging while the other one's getting used uh, it's been very very beneficial so I've, I've slid the ottoman out of the way underneath here i keep and I've installed these little uh, clips to keep stuff from sliding out. But in here, I keep the five gallon Coleman jug of water. I've been through a couple of different jugs. I've found this Coleman five gallon is the way to go. I like that you can do it no hands. You can open the, sp the spigot and wash your hands and the water's just running or rinse dishes. You don't have to have one hand pressing something down. Also, I keep a small cooler in here at all times. Uh, keep a couple of bottles, you know what they're for. Right here's the step, and then right there, that is the emergency bucket. <laughs> That's if uh, things are going bad out in the woods. <laughs> that has a toilet seat right here, just a cheap Walmart thing that you put on the bucket itself, and you have a toilet. In that, I keep a couple of black trash bags, some kitty litter, and I'm good to go. So in case something happens, um, I have an emergency access for that. So this is kind of the main area that I use. Um, and then for storage, this is what I access the most. That's why the water's right here. That's why the step's right here. Up above the office chair, and this, this is very mobile. That's why I kept it without the wheels on it. I can still pick it up, move it around. I can sit outside with it. Incredibly comfortable chair, reclines, put my feet up on the ottoman. Just works great. Up here, I'll show you real quick. So up here, these cabinets are from, oh man, Northwest Overland, I believe. I'll put a link in the description. Couldn't be happier. They're lighter weight, they're a fabric. Um, they can, if you want to take them down, they fold into like a flat duffel bag type thing. They also have all these attachment points. And I've said it before, but I thought these were gonna be kind of gimmicky and I would never use them. The attachment points have been incredible. I love all the pockets, koozie, dish rag, extra storage, extra storage. Up front here, I keep my tape measure, antiseptic, headphones. It all just works really well. In these, and this is a cool feature, you can roll this up. This first one, I keep all my photo gear, extra photo gear, JBL speaker, cords, some cups. So that's all in that first one. In the next one here, paper towels, batteries. Oh, I wanted to show you this. This works great for storage of trash bags. Compresses them down really well. This is an Ozark Trail thing, uh, but I keep all my uh, trash bags stored in here. This is that little uh, mini oven that my wife got me for Christmas we've been using. Also have my uh, tea kettle up in here. So some extra batteries for all the lights kitchen storage type area. Right here I keep 
Dawn Power Wash, and then also a cleaner. If I need to clean anything, the, the uh, countertops, anything like that, back in there. Uh, this side is remote controls. The lights have a remote control, the TV remote control, also the power cord for the lights is tucked away up in here, works really well. Um, and the reason that's all right there is that shore power thing I showed you earlier, this is where this comes in. I have a, a three pronged plug-in and I will just hook this right here. So I'll hook that right there when I get to camp and that works great for being able to plug in and uh, ready to go. Up on top of the counter here, of course, is the uh, two burner electric stovetop. Really enjoy using electric cooking when you're out, if you can. Underneath here, more uh, dish rags and that type of stuff. Let's move over to this other compartment real quick. Another clip just for hanging stuff. This compartment is, I have an electrical box. These are, one of the things I highly recommend to do, get battery powered lights. A uh, van is basically a glorified tent and I can basically do everything with AA batteries if I need. So being out, not having to have power, and then you have lights, it does a cool flame thing too, but I use four of these. I can set them all around the van and the van's all lit up just with AA power. Also in here is electrical cords. I do also have a USB powered rechargeable fan. This'll run, if I run it on low, it'll last about five hours, six hours basically get you through a night if you had to, just to kind of keep some air moving. Uh, works really well. It also has a light on it, and that has come in handy. USB power and battery power can be your friend out in the, out in the woods and the boonies. You don't need a campground though to be out there. On this side, I keep my coffee pot and then if I, I usually have the coffee grinder in here too and the coffee, that's kind of the coffee area. And then this box is, and I have it labeled here, shower hygiene, toothbrush, deodorant. I carry a, a towel with me. Always have a couple extra rolls of toilet paper, just in case, you never know. That's in there. Hooked onto here are my hats. We'll move back here just a little bit more. And this, like I said, this is another one of those car can things. I just have it hanging on the uh, on the hook back here. I keep a couple extra coats around. This one will get changed out here in just a couple weeks. That's my big, heavy winter coat. And then up here, I have the second Blue Eddy. And this is in a little, I put those little brackets in to keep it from moving around. And this one's at 75%. Couldn't be happier. So what I usually do, the one I'm using, I keep up here. The one that's in backup is uh, over there. But couldn't be happier with the Blue Eddy uh, EB3As. Greatly enjoy using them. Well, we're moving on here. The kitchen. The reason I went with a, a toolbox, and it doesn't necessarily, you know, it's not the most aesthetic thing in the world. It does do a couple of things. It locks, so those drawers won't come flying open. It also, the storage is way better than having a, like a kitchen cabinet type thing that only has usually three doors. I really like the layout of this. So we'll start at the bottom. In here, keep my propane, my big pot, bowls, olive oil, measuring cups. I do have a French press, and that's if I'm off grid and need to make some coffee, I can just use my stove, boil some water, and then I can have fresh coffee without having to be plugged in. Next drawer up, um, I keep my plates because they, they run flat. I have some cooking spray back in there. Here's another pan. This thing rattles like crazy, so I had to wrap it in a uh, dish towel. And then also my Coleman stove is in here, my two burner Coleman stove, very happy with that. And then behind there are spatulas and all that. Next drawer up, this is a collapsible sink. Use it all the time, works great for washing dishes. This lid, along with that other pan. You can hear how noisy that thing is. Coffee filters, a couple of Tupperware things. This used to have some coffee in it. I kind of need to redo this little section right here. I'm uh, wasting some space here, but. This drawer is, I will tell you one thing I have learned, these one gallon Ziploc bags are invaluable camping. For leftover storage, they just, 
throwing some dirty clothes, wet clothes in there if you have to, anything. The, the one gallon, these just work incredibly well. Extra dish towels, aluminum foil, some scrubbies, some more Ziploc bags. And then in the top one, uh, my spices, that type stuff. Here's my silverware. This is my main silverware, and I highly recommend this. I got this off Amazon. I was using these, and they work great. It's nice. They're just plastic. You know, it just, I like eating off uh, regular silverware. So I found this roll, and these things are super solid, work great. It rolls up really nice and, and just goes away. Very happy with the, uh, the silverware drawer. What is that? Uh, Wheeler's. And I got this off Amazon. It wasn't expensive at all. I keep a pair of scissors in here, can opener, fire starters. Good to go. Down here in the hallway, I keep the uh, heater. I had to switch out this year. This is a newer one. This also is an ottoman that I use back here at night. Works well to set stuff on on the floor right here. This is the lagoon table. Just have it bolted in with a couple of bolts. It just kind of rides right there. Works great. I, and I couldn't believe, I don't know how this worked out, but it fit perfectly. <laughs> and I didn't do that on purpose or anything. It fit perfectly in this storage system to go right there. It actually, it kind of works well. It keeps the hallway a little bit more cl clean and uh, functional, I guess. Like I said, in here, just food, extra food stuff. Always got to have your Fritos. Uh, this is another food. I keep my MRE meals, those types of things. In this one, I keep tools, duct tape, zip ties. In this one, I have a hammock, which is awesome. A medic kit, which I highly recommend everybody carry. Um, I keep an extra backpack in here. You just never know if you have somebody along that needs one or uh, it's a smaller, lighter pack. And then an extra blanket. In here is more camera stuff. So it's labeled with the Z for my Nikon Z mount camera stuff. And then in this bottom one is towing straps. The extension cord has been moved up, so that isn't uh, valid anymore. But I keep all my towing stuff. So I keep the hitch, uh, tow straps, any other type of straps, ratchet straps, all that. That's all in that compartment. So and then that's uh, basically my storage system. Back into this back corner. Um, back in the the back of this, I keep my winter gloves. And like I said, a lot of the winter stuff in the next week or two is all gonna come out. This is basically like a, a clothing type area. I keep my pillow up in here. I don't like having my pillow out. I'm just moving around, picked up and put away. Uh, there's also an extra winter coat in here. And that's basically it on this side. And then this side uh, is just clothing. I keep a, a travel bag. I have my winter pants, a couple extra sweatshirts. This is usually more empty. I just kind of was picking up a little bit and threw some stuff in here. But so this side's clothing, this side's my pillow. Works really well right by the bed uh, to have all this stuff right here. Um, underneath here, I keep two leashes, just emergency leashes if I need them for the dogs. And I also have, I wanted to show you folks, my wife turned me on to these, AAA powered lights, an LED light and they just work incredibly well. So I have three of these in the van. I wouldn't mind a couple of more. They were, I think, $9.99, but they have the Velcro, but on here, I just slide them into the, uh, the webbing, and it's nice. I have a light over my bed. Just reach up, touch it, bam, and good, nice little reading light at night. Very happy with that. In this little corner, I keep the crazy mask guy. He's my little mascot. I do have a uh, pellet gun. I really like having that along, not just for, not security necessarily. It's kind of fun to plink when you're out at camp some days and I keep the ammo for that. Right here, we're in a state of flux with the TV. I don't watch a whole lot of TV. I'm, I'm almost even wondering if I need it and I may go with, I might go with something different here I just don't even know if I need the TV uh, with an iPad and with my phone. And I'm just not, like this time of year, I'm not in the van much. Uh, in the winter time, it was nice having a TV, but this time of year, I don't know that it's really necessary. This may be, this was my mounting bracket for it. This may be coming out. Rethink this little area. If any of you folks have any ideas for what to put right here, I'm all ears. These deals, these are magnets. And I left this open and then I also left this open underneath here, sorry. Left this open for 
and it doesn't look the greatest, but it works so well having that be metal and having these holes for my bug screen in the summertime. I just use magnets and I install the bug screen. It takes about two minutes and the, the magnets hold the screen up. I don't have to have all that Velcro installed that ends up going crappy and doesn't work usually anyway. Well, we got, uh, I think, just one more stop out back. I want to show you underneath on the back side of the bed and uh, we'll be done with the tour. So back here, and you folks have seen me open this door a bazillion times. I keep my like trailer keys, stuff for the boat. I keep all the keys right here in this little webbing thing. I also keep the hatchet right here uh, handy, uh, right over my head if I need it in the middle of the night. <laughs> this is the generator that I use, and I've shown you before, but it's a, a WEN 2350W. So far, I've been incredibly happy with this thing. It is quiet. It was almost the third of a price of the Honda. Highly recommend it. It's just been incredible for me. Small, light, works great, it's quiet. I just keep that right here. This is uh, the back of the bed. So we'll pull this out real quick. My extension cord hangs right here. Um, I keep my cycling shoes in here just in case. Uh, an extra saw. And then this is a charging uh, Milwaukee charging thing for batteries and that's for my zip saw and I keep that in here all times if I just need some emergency firewood or need something cut real quick I have that right here and this it, it's crazy how this stuff worked out but this fit perfectly in the four by fours that I built for the bed underneath here I also keep extra step stool for the back to get in and out if we need it of course that's going to fall over for me I do keep an extra sleeping pad and I, I do have the ability to pull the ottoman out and that chair out and I can sleep someone that's like 6'2 across the front of the van right there on the floor. And that's why I keep that in here just in case someone needs to hang out. Leveling blocks, these were like $35 at Walmart. They have been, I've only had them, oh, about a month, but they work incredibly well my rug that I use on the floor and then the a fan uh, for the summertime and that's coming and then what's in front of that is my buddy heater for now with the way uh, weather's changing and all that the buddy heater will come out here and I'll have a little bit more storage but that is looking underneath the bed I do have a little bottle opener <laughs> that was one of the first things I installed was that bottle opener I thought that was so cool but you can see how my bed is uh, put in here I do have it on hinges and this whole thing, let's pull that out of there. My uh, blanket that Aunt Lou made for me. So my bed does hinge and I can leave the mattress on and this whole system will pivot up and hinge. And I, I have a couple of bungees here. It fits underneath this. It'll hinge up and be out of the way. And I, if, I, if I need, I can have the whole width of the van to haul stuff. It's been, a, it's been a really good system. If I, if I need, I hardly ever have to do that, so I don't usually, but it's available for me, and that's how I built the bed. If anybody has any questions on how that's done or what's going on, please reach out in the comments, and I'll uh, be happy to share everything I've figured out and know and learn with it. Well, we have one more little area I wanted to show you. So this is the back. This is the, all the storage stuff. Right here, I keep a, you gotta have, a mini set of cornhole. You never know when a cornhole game is going to bust out. Three camp chairs. I also have a 10 foot ladder. I don't use it much, but man, when you need a 10 foot ladder, or if I need to get something off the roof or whatever, check the roof, anything, uh, having a ladder along. I do plan on getting a roof rack in the future and having that has been very handy. So I have all that just bungeed together here. I do keep a shovel handy, snow or sand. Um, if I need to dig out a little bit or something, I have it. So that's the back, That all that stuff just kind of fits right there in that little uh, little area of the, the back end. Well, that's it. I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of the van and the van tour. Being in this for about a year and a half and fine tuning and working and moving, for me, this has been a really, really good layout. There isn't anything I'd really, in the near future, you know, anything big or whatever that I would change or do. I'm really happy with uh, where it's at right now and uh, it, looking forward to a great summer of camping out of it this year. Looking forward to have you folks along.
one thing I always forget to say, and you know, we have some new subscribers and all that. My name's Dave. I am a retired Omaha firefighter. I was on Omaha for 21 years and I was on Council Bluffs for four years, uh, fire departments. Incredibly loved uh, what I did and really enjoying retirement now. Big time stress job. Man, I just love getting outside and camping. And it's something I've found kind of later in life and uh, wish I would have found sooner. But camping is where it's at. And I wish more people would just get outside. Put your phone down, get out and see the stars, sit around a fire and talk. We need more of that. I'm going to wrap this one up. Thanks for being here. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, we'll see you on our next adventure.